hello assalamu alaikum everyone uh, hope so you guys are doing well today we are going to discuss how we can generate 10 different uh, range plots with the help of stata so the process is quite simple first thing first uh, is actually the data which i'm going to use uh, starting from uh, you can say uh, january 3rd 2023 to feb 8 uh, 2023 so this is actually the data you can simply filter the data and uh, just click on the apply button and you can copy and paste the data into the excel sheet okay here is basically the data which i'm going to use it is covering uh, you can see the dates here comes the opening rate here comes the highest rate lowest rate and the closing prices as well okay so First thing first, we have to copy this, select and copy this data. Afterwards, we will open the data. Just go to data editor, data editor window. Here comes, you need to paste the data, control V. So the first row will be considered as your variable name. So just click on the variable name. Here comes your data, just close this window. But you can see that the dates are not actually in the proper format. So this process is quite simple just to change your string date into numeric one. OK, for this one, you need to do you need to create a new variable under the title of uh, you will apply the command generate date two because date one is our string variable is equal to date into date comma emitted commas month day and year so simply need to close the brackets and so on here you can see that it will simply create another variable under the title of date 2 but the problem is this day 2 is still not in a format which can easily re uh, readable for us. So again, we have to move on towards another process, which is we need to change this date to variable into proper date format. So just to change the format, we will go on towards the data. We'll move on towards the data. Here comes your variable manager. Afterwards, you need to select date to the new created variable. Here comes the create button just click on this afterwards we need to change the frequency of the date like this is actually the daily data so we will click on daily types of the data on daily basis and here are actually the different formats so i'm selecting the second one just click on ok and simply you need to click on apply and you need to close this one okay once you will do this process you can see that your date to variable is now actually in the proper date format starting from 8 feb to sorry january 3rd to a feb uh, which is basically uh, the latest data available okay now we are moving towards how we can create the range plots uh, with the help of stata so the command is quite simple two way space are connected Now we have to type the name of the variables here we are going to compare the prices between the high prices and the low prices high and low afterwards we want our date variable on our uh, horizontal axis so we will type date to comma sort enter once you will uh, type this command this uh, uh, graph will be created now you can see that the dates of uh, your both of your variables the prices are high and low on the vertical axis and the dates are on the x-axis so this is actually the very first uh, you can see the process just to create the range plots with the help of stata okay just close this window or if you want to save this just open copy your uh, graph and paste into the word file or any other format you want to paste okay afterwards this was actually the simple range plots while connecting the range 
okay now the second one is how we can create simple the scatter plot okay the process again quite simple the command will be two way space r scatter r stand for your range r scatter space uh, your variables which are high and low and day two just press the enter okay now this uh, uh, command is simply creating uh, the scatter plot of both high and low prices okay now the third is simple how we can create a line plot again the process got simple just type two way space your variable name sorry two way r line you need a range line high low and day two and enter now you can see that we have created the simple lines for our high and low prices okay the fourth one is how we can create a simple range area for our range plots so the command is quite simple two way space range area r area space your first variable high your second variable and your date variable press the enter key here you can see that we have created a uh, range area with the help of range area uh, command okay afterwards the fifth one is how we can create the caps for our uh, range graphs so the command is quite simple two way space r cap space high your first variable low your second variable space date two here you can see that Stata has created a cap over the range of your prices in the form of both high and low one okay now the sixth uh, graph is how we can create the symbol instead of the caps so the uh, process is quite simple just select this command here you have two way r cap rather than you can type simple r cap s y m that's the entry key here you can see that these are basically you can see the symbols created on you can say the caps of your data based on high and low prices okay afterwards the seventh one is based on how we can create the bar charts for our uh, you can say the range of the prices so the process is simple two way space or bar high low date two here we have seen that stata has created the bar charts for both high and low prices now we can also change the color for this bar chart so what you have to do simple select this command afterwards after the date you need to type simple b color which color you want to write for example i'm i need the red color for these bar charts simply i will press the enter here the bar chart color is now changes to red color okay the second last is how we can control the look of the uh, marker symbols size and the colors as well okay so the process is again quite simple simply type two way afterwards are connected high low based on the date as created comma sort my m symbol into you need to create the diamond symbol and you need the size of uh, your you can say the symbols as m size your your marker size is 
you can say I'm typing the large space your marker color M color C-O-L-O-R sorry into which color for example I'm saying it should be red or black or whatsoever let's suppose I'm writing it should be pink okay here you can see that these are basically your markers in circles having large size and the color of you can see the points are basically uh, you can see the pink or red okay now the last one is control the line width line color and line pattern so this is again very simple just type two way space are connected space high prices low prices day two comma sort you need to apply the sort command you need the line width or l w i d t h which line widths you need to create for example i'm saying it should be thick afterwards i need the line color as c o l o r for example blue and the last one is i need the line pattern or l pattern which one it should be into the brackets it should be the dash one the spread brand now you can see that the color the line pattern and the sizes are as per the given detail so this is actually the whole process through which you can create 10 different range plots with the help of stata uh, just over five minutes hope you guys like it uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos and don't uh, forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much